In today's age, with environmental concerns and a growing population, there exists something that threatens not only the health of our planet, but also the well-being of every individual. And that is the contamination of our environment and bodies by heavy metals. Heavy metal contamination has become a growing issue in our modern world. It stems from various sources such as industrial activities, agricultural practices, and proper waste disposal. And these toxic substances, lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, along with other contaminants, are pollutants that infiltrate our air, water, and soil, creating significant risk to ecosystems and to our health. Now, heavy metals accumulate over time. They often leach into groundwater and surface water sources. They can bioaccumulate in the food chain, which then leads to the consumption of contaminated seafood and crops. The levels of heavy metal contamination in our food supply is incomprehensible. The inhalation of heavy metal particles in polluted air or ingestion of contaminated water and food can lead to a whole host of health problems, neurological disorders, organ damage, developmental abnormalities, even cancer. Which means children and pregnant women are particularly at risk as their developing bodies are more susceptible to the harmful effects. Now there are ways to address the issue of heavy metal contamination, such as reducing industrial emissions, improving wastewater treatment processes, better agricultural practices. These things can reduce the release of heavy metals into the environment and mitigate their harmful effects. But what about our bodies? You know, out of all the innovative technologies and solutions used for heavy metal remediation, not many people take advantage of the solutions to removing heavy metals from the body. And some, simply may not know of a solution. But there is something with its unique adsorption properties that holds the potential to effectively capture and remove heavy metals from water, soil, and the body, offering an effective solution to this problem. I can tell you, as an individual moving towards dynamic health, the discovery the solution, it's zeolite. There are various ways in which heavy metals can find their way into the environment and agriculture. The contamination of foods by heavy metals comes from different sources, such as the natural breakdown of rocks, direct air pollution, and the irrigation of soil with polluted water or contaminated groundwater. The main routes for heavy metal contamination, like lead, mercury, chromium, arsenic, and cadmium, are primarily through environmental pollution caused by industrial and human activities. Now, the amount of heavy metals in our daily diet can vary depending on the region we live in, the available food options, and the nearby industries. Sometimes, these metals are not released directly into the environment, but human activities, particularly industrial ones, can still lead to exposure to naturally occurring heavy metals. For example, in the vicinity of a mine, soil contamination can be observed, which can result in the presence of heavy metals in local crops. In China, areas surrounding coal-fired power plants are polluted by mercury up to 10 times more than the average soil sample 55 kilometers away. Mercury, for instance, is a significant concern for human health. Mercury mainly enters our bodies through the consumption of fish, 
whether they're from marine, freshwater, or starfish sources. In China, research has revealed that mercury levels in children's blood can vary based on where they live and how much fish they eat. The type of mercury found in fish, such as methylmercury, can differ depending on the fish species. The way we prepare food also affects mercury absorption. For example, drinking green or black tea or black coffee during meals can lower the absorption of mercury. Thanks to compounds like phytates and tannins found in those beverages. Now, besides fish, mercury has been detected in other food items like lettuce, water spinach, amaranth, and rice. Coal-fired power plants can also impact vegetables and crops, with mercury pollution being more noticeable in leaves than in roots. However, the absorption of mercury in the gastrointestinal tract is relatively low compared to inhalation which can happen in certain occupations like small-scale gold mining or dental work with amalgams. Inhaling mercury vapors can lead to serious health issues, neurological problems, kidney damage, infertility. Another heavy metal of concern is lead. Lead poisoning often occurs due to exposure to lead in gasoline, mining, and battery recycling. Surprisingly, Sources of lead poisoning can also be unexpected, such as lead-based wall paints or binders used in sewer pipes. In some regions like the Middle East, people unknowingly get exposed to lead when they produce household flour using stone mills held together with lead binders. Lead exposure is especially dangerous for young children as it can affect their development, growth, and nervous system. Cadmium is another heavy metal increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases among smokers. It's also found in various food items such as leafy vegetables, oil seeds, crops, organ meat, nuts. In China, rice, once again rice consumption, is a significant source of cadmium or heavy metal exposure, especially in areas with e-waste dismantling activities. Cadmium can also contaminate food through natural sources like sewage and fertilization, ultimately affecting fish and oysters. Cadmium exposure can lead to severe anemia, kidney damage, bladder and prostate cancers, and osteoporosis. Chromium exists in different forms in the environment, with trivalent chromium being less toxic and hexavalent chromium being highly toxic and carcinogenic. Trivalent chromium is found in various foods like nuts, broccoli, whole grain products, and eggs. Hexavalent chromium is primarily generated by human activities such as leather tanning and wood preservation. Similarly, arsenic is a well-known toxin and carcinogen found in the air, water, and soil. It can enter the human body through drinking water and exposure to high levels of arsenic can negatively affect infant birth weight and increase other various health issues. Heavy metals, which are present in colored cosmetics, may be there intentionally or as contaminants introduced through raw materials that are used in the production process. Eye creams, as well as color cosmetics, also contain lead. Arsenic is used as a pigment in color cosmetics such as eyeshadows, lipsticks, and is also present in many cosmetic and skincare products such as lotions. Mercury may be found in cosmetics in either organic thimerosal used as a preservative or inorganic mercury used in skin lightening creams, which can be combined with other elements such as oxygen, sulfur, and chlorine. Cadmium can be present in inorganic pigments found in cosmetic products. It can concentrate in bones, kidneys, and teeth. Skin dermatitis can be caused also by nickel present in jewelry and cosmetics. It can also be found in many types of color cosmetics produced and used in various parts of the world, 
mainly in lipsticks and powders. Heavy metals present in cosmetics may act directly on the skin or indirectly by absorption through the skin into the blood, leading to bioaccumulation in various organs. Increasing your awareness and research on heavy metal pollution are essential for developing strategies to reduce and eliminate such pollutants from your food and your environment. However, even on an organic diet, it's very difficult to eliminate and avoid heavy metals from entering the body because it's in the soil, it's in the water, and it's in the air. Now, the human body does have several natural mechanisms for detoxifying heavy metals, although the process can vary depending on the specific metal and the level of exposure. But no worries. In a moment, I'm going to explain how you can take care of this. But before I do that, let's take a look at the ways in which the body naturally detoxes these heavy metals. So, the liver metabolizes and breaks down toxins, including heavy metals, into less harmful substances that can be excreted from the body. This process involves a series of chemical reactions, including oxidation and conjugation, which transform toxic compounds into water-soluble molecules that can be eliminated through the urine or bile. Now the kidneys filter waste products, including heavy metals, from the blood and excrete them in the form of urine. This process helps remove heavy metals that have been metabolized by the liver and transported to the kidneys for elimination. Sweating is another natural mechanism for detoxifying heavy metals from the body. Sweat glands excrete small amounts of heavy metals along with other toxins through the skin. So, exercise, saunas, and hot baths can promote sweating and enhance the elimination of heavy metals through the skin. Other than what your body can do on its own, minimizing exposure to heavy metals is of course a reasonable way for preventing toxicity and supporting the body's natural detoxification mechanisms. Avoiding contaminated water, food, and air, as well as reducing exposure to products containing heavy metals, such as lead-based paints, certain cosmetics, and contaminated seafood, all work well. Some nutrients, such as antioxidants and minerals like zinc and selenium, play a role in supporting the body's natural detoxification processes. Antioxidants help protect cells from oxidative damage caused by heavy metals, while zinc and selenium can bind to heavy metals and help their removal from the body. Drinking plenty of water is essential for flushing toxins, including heavy metals, out of the body through urine. Adequate hydration supports kidney function and helps prevent the accumulation of heavy metals in the body. Now, some people say eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins provides essential nutrients that support the body's detoxification processes. Certain foods, such as cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cabbage, kale, garlic, and cilantro, may also have natural detoxifying properties and help remove heavy metals from the body. Here's the problem with that. All those things I just mentioned and other fruits and vegetables add to the problem as you are trying to fix the problem. For example, oxalates are natural compounds found in vegetables, fruits, nuts, and grains. Foods that are highest in oxalates include green leafy vegetables, soy, almonds, potatoes, tea, rhubarb, cereal grains and beets. Oxalates can bind to calcium and to a lesser extent other minerals in the stomach and intestines. This binding can reduce absorption of these minerals inhibiting their ability to be used. For this reason, oxalates have been labeled an anti-nutrient 
Oxalates can bind to minerals like calcium in the kidneys and form calcium oxalate kidney stones, the most common type of kidney stone. So how can these foods perform well as antioxidants when they come with the very thing that adds to oxalate-induced oxidative stress? Next, all of these foods, depending on where and how they are grown, contain various levels of heavy metals. So you're going to rid the body of heavy metals by eating foods that contain heavy metals? How does that work? How well does that work? Does it work? Cilantro is known as one of the best chelators to remove heavy metals from the body. But did you know that cilantro, coriandrum sativum, because it is a good chelator, because it's good at removing heavy metals from the body, because of this special property of the plant, it is also good at absorbing and removing heavy metals from soil and water. In fact, cilantro has been tested to see if it could be used as a hyperaccumulator plant, which means they tested cilantro to see if it could be used to remove lead from the soil so that they could grow other crops in that soil with less lead contamination. So, if these options are not the best for removing heavy metals from the body, then what is? What is the solution to getting around all this? Well, let me explain. Zeolites are a group of minerals known for their ability to exchange ions, a property that allows them to trap certain substances. The term zeolite was first used in 1756 by Baron Axel Frederick Kronstedt, a Swedish scientist, and it comes from the Greek word meaning boiling stone. These minerals have a unique structure made of aluminosilicates connected by oxygen atoms. Clinoptilolite, a type of zeolite found abundantly in nature, is especially popular for its ion exchange and adsorption abilities. Because of its special properties, clinoptilolite is used in various fields, medicine, industry, environmental protection. It's often used to remove harmful substances like heavy metals and ammonia from water and industrial waste. Now, recent advancements have improved the effectiveness of clinoptilolite even further. Techniques like micronization and tribomechanical activation increase its surface area and enhance its ability to exchange ions. In nature, there are over 80 types of zeolites each with unique particle structures like fibers, layers, or spheres. Among these, one of the most common is zeolite clinoptilolite. This type of zeolite has a structure full of pores or channels that act like sieves, trapping substances like water and polar molecules. Inside these pores, you'll find ions like sodium, potassium, calcium, and barium, or hydroxyl groups. And these ions can easily swap places with other molecules and ions in the environment, thanks to zeolite's ion exchange capacity. This ability depends on the ratio of silicon to aluminum in the zeolite, with higher silica content making zeolites like clinoptilolite more stable, especially under acidic conditions. Tests with techniques like TMAS and PMA, ZC, have shown that these zeolites are stable in the acidic environment of the gut, with no evidence of harmful aluminum ions leaking into the body. The positive effects of zeolite, clinoptilolite, and modified versions come from their ability to exchange ions and adsorb substances reversibly. In mice exposed to lead, Modified zeolite clinoptilolite 
reduced lead accumulation in the intestines by over 70%, protecting brain tissue. Rats exposed to organophosphates also benefited from zeolite clinoptilolite with restored enzyme activity. Zeolite clinoptilolite has found applications in zootechnics and veterinary medicine where it improves the health of farm animals by removing harmful substances like ammonia, nitrates, and mycotoxins. In dairy cattle, zeolite supplementation reduced the absorption of nitrates and aflatoxins, improving milk quality without affecting blood mineral levels. Similar benefits have been observed in pigs and poultry, where zeolite supplementation balanced gut microbial flora and enhanced antioxidant activity. Zeolite has various effects on bodily systems, including the immune and antioxidant systems, offering potential benefits in conditions like Alzheimer's disease. Now, I've been working with a company called Touchstone Essentials. My website is woodward.thegoodinside.com and there you can find a product called Pure Body Extra. This is nano-sized zeolite. Pure Body Extra takes it to the cellular level, acting like tiny magnets to attract and eliminate positively charged toxins like mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, the nanotechnology leaves zeolite with an expansive surface area that effectively traps and removes toxins. It only utilizes natural zeolite clinoptilolite, which is recognized as safe by the FDA in case you were wondering. It's colorless, odorless, 100% natural, non-toxic, and it can be used for long-term use. This form comes in an easy to use spray which can be used sublingually you just spray it under the tongue a few times a day with or without food unlike powdered zeolites that only target the gut pure body extra can reach toxins at a cellular level ensnaring positively charged toxins such as heavy metals quickly carrying them out of the body within hours it is pure and any pre-existing pollutants from the zeolite are removed in the cleansing process. Nano-sizing transforms it into a hydrated zeolite liquid that permeates throughout the body. Now, zeolite is known for exclusively extracting toxins without touching essential nutrients. It is fortified with beneficial minerals to make sure that each toxin is replaced with a vital mineral. It is also known for clearing out parasites. Now, if you're interested, you can go to woodward.thegoodinside.com and on the homepage, there are numerous reviews so you can see what other people are saying about the product. And you can click the shop button to take a look at the Pure Body Extra Zeolite along with a few other products to look into. There is a link in the description box below to order your supply with free shipping. Those of you who like to support the show or would like to support Woodward TV, this is a great way to do so, as you will receive a great product in return and something that will be life-changing. Sometimes the body needs a change, and sometimes the answer is right in front of you. I want to thank everyone for joining me today. If you enjoyed this presentation and appreciate this message, please click the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Be sure to visit woodward.thegoodinside.com to order your own supply of zeolite. And until next time, friends, as always, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.